Microsoft announced Windows 11 a few months ago and they also announced that it can run Android apps natively without any third-party emulators like BlueStacks or LD Player. But even today, after three months of launch, it is only available for Windows insiders. I mean people who test unreleased versions of Windows. So just for the sake of running Android apps, do you want to sign up for Windows Insider program? No need of that. You need only three major things to run Android apps on any stable version of Windows 11. So the Windows subsystem for Android, the Android debug bridge and the APK files of the apps you want to install. Don't get scared by these names if you don't know what they mean, I'll help you. The first thing you need is the Windows subsystem for Android, which is a piece of software that enables Android apps to run natively on Windows. So using this subsystem, you can download apps officially from the Amazon App Store provided by Microsoft as a part of this subsystem. But compared to the Google Play Store, it has only a limited collection of apps and also it is not available in some of the regions in the world. And this is where the concept of APK sideloading comes in to help us and that's what we are going to use in the final step of this process to install any app we want. And in order to get this subsystem on your computer, just go to this link and under that RP drop down menu, just select the slow option and paste this URL there in the text box. I'll leave all the links I mentioned in the video in the description for you to copy and paste. So just paste the link there and then click the tick mark to generate a list of URLs. So just ignore them all, scroll all the way down to the last link that says Windows subsystem for Android blah blah MSX bundle. So just click that to download it. And to install the subsystem, open up Windows PowerShell from search and run as administrator. There in the PowerShell window, type up this command, add hyphen apex package space hyphen path space the path of the directory where you have downloaded the setup file. It is easy to grab the path. Just go to the file explorer, find the setup file, right click on it, select copy path option, come back to PowerShell and paste the path there and press enter. So after the installation is completed, you can find the Windows subsystem for Android app in the start menu. The next step is to enable virtual machine platform, which is a mandatory requirement for the proper functioning of the Windows subsystem. Just jump onto settings, go to the apps tab, select optional features, scroll all the way up to related settings section and then select more Windows features. In the dialog box that appears, check virtual machine platform, click OK and you'll be prompted with an option to restart the system to apply the changes made. This step is optional if you already have ADB installed on your system. So for beginners, ADB is a communication tool that can have some sort of extreme control over your phone to do things like uninstalling system apps, installing custom recovery, rooting the phone, or installing custom roams, all, all that advanced stuff. And here we are going to use it to sideload the apps that we want to install using the APK file. So to get the ADB and Fastboot file, just click the link in the description and follow the on-screen instructions to install it. That's pretty easy to do and we are finally ready to install apps on our Windows systems. Now all you need is the APK file of the app that you want to install. I would recommend getting APKs from apkmirror.com which is a reliable source for safe APK files. After getting them, open up Windows subsystem from start menu and there under the subsystem resources settings, select continuous if you want a quicker app startup time. But do note that if you enable this option, the subsystem will be running in the background continuously which might as well result in a battery drain if you are using a laptop. So that's up to you. And you have to enable the developer mode option on which is the basic requirement to enable ADB access to the subsystem to install the apps. And there are actually two methods to install the apps. You can use direct ADB commands in the command prompt or by using a handy third party tool called WSA tools which uses a graphical user interface and that's pretty sweet to use without any hassle at all which I'll get to in a minute. So in the command line option just open up command prompt and then go to the directory where you install the ADB. So just change it using the cd change directory command. So it will usually end up like ADB slash platform tools. The directory might change according to where you install the ADB in your system. So after changing the directory, type up this command ADB space connect space the IP address of the subsystem. So to get the IP address, you can go to the same subsystem settings and under the developer mode option, you'll find the local host address and the port number there. For some reason, that cannot be copied from there. So you can just see that and type it in the command prompt, press enter and wait for the connection to be established. So to make sure that the connection is established, you can use the ADB devices command, which gives a list of devices connected to the ADB. So after the connection is established, we're going to install the app. So to install the app, the command is very similar and easy. ADB space install space the path of the app where the APK file is stored. 
So you can just use the same method we used for the subsystem file. You can use the same copy path method. Just go to the file explorer, find the APK file, right click on it, select copy path, and then paste it here, click enter, and wait for the success message to appear. After that, open up start menu for a surprise. The app will be there. Alternatively, you can use WSA tools, which provides a handy graphical user interface to install the apps instead of the CMD commands, and the results are just the same for both the methods. And here you go, Android apps on Windows. Check out all the commands and links in the description box. Hit that subscribe button if this video installed happiness in your mind. Thanks for watching and I'm signing off.